Welcome to Brick Artemis, everybody. My name is Rob. Today is going to be a pretty fun video because we are going to talk about the figures in my collection that people usually hate, but I actually really love and enjoy having in my collection. I have quite a few figures in my collection. I have 40, so not, you know, the most, but definitely a decent sized collection here. So I'm going to talk about roughly five figures that uh, are in my collection that I absolutely love that a lot of people kind of hate on or just kind of like mediocre reviews. But before we get started, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you know when the next videos come. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, the first figure that I actually want to talk about today is Kate Bishop from the Disney Plus show Hawkeye. I actually really, really enjoyed this show. I love watching uh, these episodes during the holiday season because, of course, it is kind of based around the holidays, and I absolutely love that feeling of it. I thought Kate Bishop was a phenomenal character. I thought Haley Steinfeld did very, very well alongside Hawkeye and playing Kate Bishop. So I had to get this figure. Of course, I, I really do want a Hawkeye as well to go with her, but I, I don't need it. I kind of like her as a standalone figure, although she would be better with Hawkeye, but I still like her with, as a standalone figure. I love the purple. I love her her uh, bow and arrow and her quiver, and it's just, it's just a really, really cool, posable figure. Now, that being said, she does have her flaws, don't get me wrong. We can look at those here in a second, but look at her, man. She she does a really good job at like be, doing stoic poses as well. Here you can kind of see one of the issues. Her her head sculpt's not all that great, but man, her her design and and the outfit, the boots, the zipper on the boot everything about this figure other than the little mishap with the head sculpt and the head sculpt's not terrible okay it's just not an s tier i actually think it looks pretty okay so this is a figure that i really love and i grew to love really fast and a lot of people kind of talk down on but she just looks really good i mean i i i love bow and arrows though arrow green arrow used to be one of my favorite um you know dc heroes so I definitely have a soft spot for bow and arrow characters. So I think she looks really good. And my favorite color is purple. So she definitely stands out for me in my collection. The next figure I want to talk about that a lot of people kind of talk down on is Ahsoka from the Mandalorian TV show from Disney Plus. So yeah, another Disney Plus show. Kind of seeing a pattern here, but... I love this Ahsoka figure. Yes, the elbows worry me. A lot of people's elbows snap, and I heard some stuff around the waist, too. Like, if you bend her waist and everything, it pops. But I love the seamless body. I wish they could, you know, make it a little better, which I know they're getting ready to do with the new Ahsoka figure from her own show. Really excited for the Ahsoka the White, but I'm definitely going to be keeping this figure because I think both versions are a must to have. I love everything about this figure other than those elbows. I love her sabers. I absolutely love her outfit, the baggy pants, the boots, the detail in her face. Yes, I actually think her head sculpt looks pretty decent. Again, maybe not an S tier, but to me, about an A tier. I like her head sculpt a lot and her skin tone, that orange, absolutely brilliant. This is a really cool figure to have, especially next to like a Darth Maul or an Anakin Skywalker or even, of course, your Mandalorian figure. So definitely a figure that is a must have in my opinion. And even if you're planning on getting that Ahsoka the White from the Ahsoka Disney Plus show, Again, I think this is a must. I love the dark gray. Again, I think it looks phenomenal. And having two Ahsokas, nothing is wrong with that. So look at the detail in her outfit. Look at the patterns. Uh, you know, just everything. Look at the baggy pants, like I was mentioning. The scuffs on her boots and her shin guards. It's just really, really magnificent. I absolutely love this figure. Definitely worth the price. So go get it. 
Up next, we have a figure from the Black Widow movie. Not Black Widow herself, but Yelena. Now, this is one of the most underrated figures that I have in my collection overall. Like, I absolutely love this figure. The posability, the white, the weapons that she comes with, the vest that she's wearing, and the head sculpt, As although it could be a little better, I, I absolutely think that it definitely looks like Florence Pugh. So I'm excited to have a Florence Pugh figure in my collection as well. I think she looks great. And like I said, the posability is something that you can't really like compete with for this one this this figure is amazing i absolutely love having yelena and glad i did not miss out on this figure even though she's very easy to find i just i like to know like i get this figure right away it, it makes a difference so i really like her and you know a lot of people put down figures just because of their head sculpt because it's not like perfection but to me, as long as it looks like the figure of court or the character, you know, of course, there's always going to be some of those like, oh, it could be better or, it, you know, whatever. Like they could make more advancements and, and whatnot in the suit and, and all of that. But I'm sure she is this Yelena is not the last Yelena we will get. I'm sure we will get more. But next to this Black Widow in the snowsuit, she looks great. You cannot have this Black Widow without Yelena, and you cannot have this Yelena without this Black Widow. So I absolutely love it. I actually liked the movies more than some others, so that probably has a lot to do with it too, but I just wish the Black Widow on the left had that same type of material suit because Yelena's suit definitely makes a difference and is way more poseable than the Black Widow, which makes her so much better than that Black Widow. So Guys, if you have a Widow, get Yelena to go alongside her. There's no reason to hate on this figure. The fourth figure that I want to talk about in my collection that a lot of people kind of hate on that I absolutely love is Doc Ock. Now, Doc Ock has some issues, I will admit. His head sculpt is not quite there. It's a little yucky. It's a, it's, a, it's a little gross. However, from a distance, this figure is phenomenal. And even close up, he's really good. I love his tailoring. I absolutely love the, the tentacles that he comes with. I love everything about this figure other than the glasses and his mouth. Okay? Everything else about this figure is great. He looks amazing next to the other villains uh, from the Spider-Man line and, of course, the Spider-Man figures. So there's a lot you could do with this figure. You can have him standing on the tentacles to where he's, like, you know, raising him up off the ground. You can have them curving around different figures and grabbing onto, like, a Spider-Man or, like, a Spider-Man head or something like that. Like, this figure is pretty special so guys if you love spider-man you have to get a doc ock and even though a lot of people kind of put down this figure because of the head sculpt i think those same people really loved this figure so even though it gets a lot of hate it definitely stands out in the crowd as being one of the coolest spider-man figures uh villain wise in a lot of people's collection all right so i saved my favorite the best for last and that is wanda from wandavision the Scarlet Witch from the Disney Plus show WandaVision. As I said before, there's going to be a lot of Disney Plus figures on here. There is a pattern. But you know what? This figure is perfect. Other than the shoulders, in my opinion, other than her shoulders, she is perfect. And I know a lot of people are down about those shoulders and just kind of looking forward to getting either the in-game Scarlet Witch that's coming out, Artisan, or you know, the one from Multiverse of Madness, but I think this is one of the best head sculpts in my collection. It's the best head sculpt, from, in my opinion, from 2023. I absolutely love this figure. It comes with a lot of cool accessories. I love, love, love the cape, and it, she's just beautiful on the display. So the colors, that red, that black, that crimson red, it's, it's just, it's magnificent. But yeah, definitely some issues with those shoulders, which we will talk about, and a lot of people have talked about, but um, but yeah, just a beauty of a figure. So right here, you can see her standing next to Vision, and my goodness, what an amazing display just having these two figures would be. I absolutely love her, and you can cover those shoulders up. You can cover them up, and it's fine. She looks perfect. 
I'm a huge fan. I don't understand all the hate other than the the shoulders, but but why not why get why decide not to get a figure just because of that if you're a Scarlet Witch fan? Now if you don't like Scarlet Witch and you can wait on another one just to have a Scarlet Witch in your collection, I get that. But if you're a Scarlet Witch fan, this figure is is perfect otherwise, in my opinion. Um, I absolutely love her. I love the red and the blue next to each other here with Vision and Wanda. And even though you can still kind of see the shoulders underneath the pad from a side angle, she's perfection. There you have it, guys. Five figures in my collection that are usually hated in the community, or at least close to being hated in the community, that I absolutely love having in my collection. Hope this was a different enough video for you guys. Just kind of talking about a few figures in my collection that I love that are kind of underrated. And I just absolutely love having in my collection and don't regret it one bit. If you guys like the video, once again, hit that like button. Also, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, keep bricking.